Now then, people, it's Joe, All Leads TV. Um, I just want to start with <laughs> how the fuck have we not won that game? Um, you know, like to come away. Um, do we take a point before the game? I say yes. I don't know how you guys feel. Um, based on you know the last performance and it, you know the we're falling apart again. All this jazz. You just want to make sure that you don't lose the game. So before the game, were you taking a point? Yes. After that performance, no. <laughs> We've absolutely battered them. You know, I make notes. You know, just to make sure I'm I'm covering bits. You know, some of the notes, it's like pepper, pepper, pepper. We've absolutely battered them. You know, um, 25 shots, um, 25 shots on goal. Most touches in an opposition half. You know, most completed passes. Possession was 69%. We've absolutely battered them. Chef Wednesday will be absolutely buzzing that they've come away from a point. And I'm not having no Wednesday fan or no other team tell me that they deserved anything from that game. Because they didn't. Yes, they did well first half. Yes, the coach to be to be honest, I like the battle between the two coaches, you know, the 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 Dutch fella who who's the manager of Chef Wednesday, you know, switching switching it up, you know, that's what you want to see. None of this, you know, garbage that you see from Wol uh sorry, from Borough or you see from Gary Monk's Birmingham. It was a good game of football, but we were superior today. We should be coming away from there with three points. Um, and all them guys that have gone to the game, you know, I'm gutted for you because you'll be driving back there thinking, how have we not won that game? You know, he, sometimes when you watch it on Sky, you can it, it compounds it even more because they replay the opportunities and it's like, how's that missed? You know, we had so many opportunities tonight. There's some great performances out there. You know, when Chef Wednesday, when Adam, when Reach scores that goal, you know, I was so fucking annoyed because it's so Leeds, you know, like to be battering a team and then they score a wonder goal and I said at our time to the guys at All East TV and our group messenger can we find a way back and Matthias Click popped up with an absolute worldie you know was it on Reach's level no but you know bar, bar that wonder strike from Reach there's nothing really they've offered for me um, you know there was a lot of chat before the game on Sky about fucking Barry Bannon Barry Bannon fuck Barry Bannon you know what I mean we've got Samu Saiz he needs to be the, doing the pieces on Samu Saiz, Mateus Click, not Barry Bannon. Do you know what I mean? Like, did he have much of an effect on the game? No. I mean, when the game started at uh, early doors, Phillips was on him, you know. And I was quite surprised that them tactics were um, were used by BLs. But I don't know if that... It didn't seem to prolong throughout the game. Barry Bannon didn't have much of an effect. Forrester, yeah, he seems like he always wants to play well against us because it's us and all that shit went on with Cellini or, um, and was he coming, was he not, all that garbage. So he seems to put in a shift um, and he did, you know, it, don't get me wrong, he left their left back, you know, um, exposed at times. I thought Aileen was class on the right bar a few few decision or pull left foot. I mean, he had one where he could have played it through and he swung his left foot in and it wasn't the great, you know... Um, there was just there was just so much like this is the thing yeah we've come away last two games we especially the performances that we've had against Birmingham and Chef Wednesday and the amount of uh, possession the amount of chances you know how we've played to only have a point is a little bit disheartening but last season we lose them two games there's not you can't tell me that teams in and around us have looked at that and thought ah oh, Leeds can be got at. Because we've absolutely battered Chef Wednesday. We've battered them. And what, they're on a four-game four, four game winning streak or whatever it is? Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm shooting off the hip. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think I'm, I'm just gutted that we've not won the game. There were so many chances. So many chances. I thought Jack Harrison had a brilliant game. Um, you know, again, there was one where he should have played in Saiz uh, towards the end. Um, and Saiz was notably, you know, fuming with him. But, you know, he decent. He decides not to blame him. And that's the thing with Saiz. He's had a great game. He affects it so much. I just want to see him start sc scoring goals. Um, I thought Alioski was okay tonight. But again, for me, his final decision making. Um, he was offside after like fecking two minutes. I was like, wow, is this, you know, is this a sign of things to come? Um, but yeah, I mean... Alioski, the Jewish star for me, even after a decent performance, there was he was offside. There was one where he's through, and if he swings his right foot, hey, it probably goes in. Decides to go with his favoured foot, and he misses the opportunity. Um, there was the chance early doors. 
you know, Douglas, he's gone to head the ball, it's come off his shoulder, we've been fortunate, it's come off the post, it's come back out and he's done the, a great thing of, instead of having a go, he's knocked it back across to Phillips um, and Phillips again, you know, swings his leg at it, if their defender's not in the way, it's going in the back of the net, there's just been so many opportunities and it, and it's just so it's screaming out for Roof. It's screaming out for Hernandez. I cannot wait till them lads are back because we, listen, we all battered Roof last season. But, and this isn't a shout on Roberts because Roberts has had a good game. I've even put in my notes, yeah, for me, that that kid, he's so good technically. When he gets that ball and he, he drops the shoulder, he, he has so many touches. The more experience he gains, for me, he's a 20-plus goal season striker. I genuinely believe that. You might laugh at me. You might say I'm wrong. The kid's still young. In a couple of seasons' time, he'll be on fire. Honestly, um, I think he's a, he's a proper talent. And and the amount we got him for, what, 2.5 or one, whatever it was, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, you know, I think he's a he's a real talent. And so me saying I want Roof isn't a, isn't a, a sort of diss on Roberts. Um, it's just more like with, with Hernandez and, and Roof in the side, they've a bit more about them, you know, that little bit more experience. Hernandez picks it up in little pockets. He finds killer passes. You know, he has a goal, like that goal at Norwich. Um, so we are missing them players. But listen, after tonight's performance and Birmingham, it puts Birmingham in a bit, a bit of a better light for me because, you know, I think it's... <laughs> Yeah, it's it's shite that we've not won the game and it's the same we've lost at Birmingham. But if we get a point at, at Bir uh, against Birmingham, you have your similar sort of feelings of, uh, as I've got tonight. How have we not won the game? Um, but I mean, tonight was a different gravy and we, you know, we've got Hull coming up and then Brentford at home on uh, at 12.30 on the Saturday. We'll start picking up them wins again. So Championship better watch out because it's going to happen. Um, you know, we might not be top come tomorrow. You know what I mean? Uh, I think Borough have got uh, Hull and there's a few of us. But I look at the championship now and I know it's early doors, but you think, I look at Sheffield Wednesday and I think they could be up there, yeah? I look at Derby, they're going to be up there. We, we've battered them. Borough will be up there without a doubt. West Brom was still yet to play. Swansea could be up there. Villa, they're just Mr. Inconsistent. Bristol City, you know, I look at these teams and I don't fear no one, like, I genuinely believe after what we've done, we schooled them tonight, you know, that second half was class, how have we not won the game, as I said earlier, how the f have we not won the game, we deserve to win the game, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go off some of these, just have a look, like, I put here, like, 39 I minutes, mean, great football, Harrison, class, um, you know, I put here, look, gold, joke, fuck you, reach, you know what I mean? I can't, you can't legislate for that. Like I know we've been disappointed um, to, to, to go one behind because they didn't deserve it. I don't care what you say, they don't deserve anything from that game for me. But you can't legislate for stuff like that happening. And I was worried at half-time, I'm having my fag at the back thinking, if we lose this game now, you're going to have a lot of people coming out fuming that we've lost the game. But you can't legislate for that shit. If they're going to score a Wilder, they'll score a Wilder. Wilder, there's nothing you can do. Um, but look, I'm just buzzing that we managed to get equaliser. When we get that equaliser, I'm like, we're going to win this game. Four minutes extra time, we're going to win this game because we were in the ascendancy that much. Um, and look, it, it is what it is. It didn't happen, but, you know, it was a class performance. You've got to be happy with that. This is what I'm saying. You're losing games or you're drawing games previously. Last season, for example, or previous seasons, you're like, for fuck's sake, we haven't done anything. But tonight, we showed what we're about, you know what I mean? As I say, there'll be a lot a lot of opposing teams watching that tonight, wanting us to fail, Leeds are falling apart again, as per, but they'll look at that tonight and go, you know what, they're a fucking good team, because we are, do you know what I mean? That was unreal at times, you know, I put here, get that out, fucking come on, Klitsch, you know what I mean? Um, and put fuck you, Reach, because I just... I was buzzing because I, th that was my worry, as I say, at half-time, that they're going to they're gonna beat us 1-0 from a worldie and they don't deserve it. Um, you know, I've, I call out Janssen here. You know, at times I think he takes too long on the ball. Um, he tries to pick a pass at times rather than moving it quick. And that's why I think Bielsa prefers Berardi. Get Berardi back in the team. Get Roof back in there. Hernandez, for me, Alioski comes out. 
Again, he's had a decent game tonight, but his decision making, his final ball, his shots at goal, some, they're just not good enough. He had the ball when it comes through and he's chesting in, it's too heavy. Um, yeah, he's offside after two minutes. So for me, he's the one that's going to lose his place. Hernandez comes on. Harrison, again, was class. Decision making, let him down a little bit towards the end. You know, he could have played in Saiz, for example, and Saiz was notably fuming. I know I've touched on it earlier on. I'm not repeating myself. Well, I sort of am. But you, you see, you, you get what I'm getting at. I think a lot of users will, will agree. Alioski is a little bit of the weak link. Although he's had a good game. That's what I'm saying. He's had a decent game. But when you analyse the 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 decisions or the 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 missed touches, the heavy touches, you know, you think, right, okay, when you put it all up, if you put it all up in a show reel, there's a lot more worse than what he does good, if that makes sense. Um, 75 minutes, Aileen has to pass to Saiz, yeah, there was that one where it comes across and he swings his left foot at it, and I know it is tonight, he's got a pretty wank left foot <laughs> in comparison to his right. Um, so, yeah, he has to pass to Saiz. I've got 78 minutes, Alioski should score, chest, touch, no good. Uh, 81st minute, Hector takes it away from Roberts, it comes across, Roberts, honestly, if Hector's not there, he nods that in the back of the net, you know, there was the one with Douglas early doors as well, 82 minutes, so many chances, you know, 84, Pepper, 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 that's what we did, we peppered the goal, um, there's just so much to, to, to be positive about tonight, you know, Saiz had a good game, Forshaw came on, um, and he had a bit of a stinker of a shot when he did come on. But just echo what I said right at the start. How have we not won that game? More shots by a team in the championship uh, in in a single game. I think 25, 26. Um, most touches in an opposition box. High percent possession. Not the highest. We've had higher, but high percentage possession. You know, Rich is even saying after the game, look, we took the point. They're, they're a good side. Every team we've come up against, do you know what I mean? There isn't one where we've looked... Shaky for me. Like yeah, we've had a poor performance against Birmingham, but we still dominated the game. There's not a game we've had yet where someone's taken it away from us, and we've gone. Do you know what? We're not at that level. The one that sticks in my mind is West Brom. That's the one where I start to worry. I think right, okay, let's see what we're about against West Brom. So a good side and the full of low level, high level Championship players. You know, we've got Dwight Gill, Jay Rodriguez, who's on fire. They've got a lot going through that side. Um, I thought. If you, when I'm thinking about teams that have bothered us, I think Swansea are the only one for me. This is for me person that I've really looked a little bit. Um, just because of players like Leroy Fur, I thought Leroy Fur looked a cut above when he played, and um, that's the worry when I think when we when we go up against Jay Rodriguez, Dwight Gale, and that they look that little bit level. But who knows? Let's see what they're about when we come up against them. But listen, I'm I'm happy because of the performance. I'm happy with a point no because we deserve more. Yeah, we we battered them. But we've not lost, and that was my main worry, you know. If we'd have lost tonight, I've been getting wound up by one of my pals who's a Borough fan today at work, you know, giving it all Chef Wednesday a chat, because if we lose tonight, then it gives them it gives them the ammunition that they need to come at us, because they love to do that. But listen, we are still top of the league. Yes, it might not stay, but you, I look at this and I think, right, OK, them in and around us, would go, we'll play Birmingham because Birmingham are a decent side. Then play Chef Wednesday, play teams like Swansea, these to play Borough. Do they only lose one game against them teams in and around us? Because we've only lost to Birmingham, right? I know Birmingham are in and around us, but they could be come the end of the season. I thought they played really well. Um, they don't pick up as many points against opposition around them as what we have and what we will throughout the season. Um, we know what the championship's like. Anybody can beat anybody. But for me, we're picking up points against teams that when... If, for example, what I'm trying to say is if a team in and around us in that division had the same fixtures we had, they won't be on the same points as us. We're consistently good. Yeah? And we continue... We will continue to be consistently good from the... You know, throughout the rest of the season. Um, I'm just happy, man. It was a brilliant performance. Can't wait for Hull... Can't wait to continue this march. Love Bielsa. Love Click Skull. Love the support. Love everybody, man. It was just a, another great performance. Just disappointed with the result. 
But we keep marching on, and at least we get to watch the championship unfold tomorrow. Hopefully, the results go our way, and we still sit, you know, still sit um, top of the tree come the end of the day. Um, but listen, you're going to get a championship r r roundup um, from the Ramblings. We're going to start uh, putting that in, you know, in in our schedule. So make sure you tune in to that. That'll be dropping on Sunday, where we'll we'll discuss the championship a little bit more in depth. Um, but yeah, it's been a pleasure, guys. As always, I'm at work tomorrow, which is naff, and you probably might be able to tell I've had a few sherbets, <laughs> which is probably why I'm rambling like I am. But listen, it's been a pleasure as always. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I will see you on Monday when I reply to your comments to this video. Love you all. Leads, leads, leads.